Yeah, Deborah, we're still trying to flush out details of this latest disclosure. The spokesman says the employee of the city solicitor's office became aware of the surveillance program back in April. This is the first indication someone outside the police department and city government knew the secret flights were going on. The mayor said she had been made aware only recently. The disclosure Wednesday about the aerial surveillance has led to a storm of criticism and controversy the uh, Congressman Elijah Cummings has uh, called for possible congressional hearings. The big issue is that the program was not previously disclosed to the public, even though the aerial cameras recorded the movement of people and cars in the city over a 32 squ square mile area for hundreds of hours in January, February and June. The program was funded through a private donation that came through the Baltimore Community Foundation. Its CEO and board chair today said they were changing policy as a result of this controversy. As an organization, we have learned valuable lessons from this experience and will increase our scrutiny of this type of payment, the statement says. It goes on, specifically, we will require government agencies to promptly and publicly disclose receipt of funds and adhere to all applicable public reporting requirements. Today, we asked to do an on-camera interview with City Police Commissioner Kevin Davis about the surveillance program and the lack of disclosure. We were told he wasn't available. As we reported yesterday, the City Council plans to call Davis to a hearing. And as I said, Congressman Elijah Cummings suggested hearings before Congress are a possibility too. Reporting live tonight from the newsroom, I'm Jane Miller, WBAL-TV 11 News.